Hi everybody, my name is Victoria. I'm an ecosystem manager at SendCloud. So this means I'm working with a lot of different tech companies, always keeping in mind how we can automate processes and help merchants. Um, today I'm super, super happy to welcome two of our guests here in the studio. Um, maybe Konstantin, you can just introduce yourself real quick. Yeah, hi, I'm Konstantin, CBD of Popo WMS and responsible for sales in our partnerships. Very happy to be here. And you are? Hi, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I'm from Hamburg, from Click and Pack Fulfillment. We are a fulfillment company and I'm also the CEO and founder of Click and Pack. Thank you guys for traveling to Eindhoven, to our SendCloud office here. Um, what do we want to do today? Uh, Popo and SendCloud have an integration. A lot of people know that already, but we want to show how our merchants, but also fulfillment centers using that integration to make their own lives happier and easier and also their merchants life uh, and customers life better. So, I mean, maybe you can start telling click and pack. We know SendCloud, we know Popo, but what is click and pack doing? Well, Click and Pack, as I say, is a fulfillment uh, logistics company. So we are mainly concentrated on uh, warehousing uh, online e-commerce brands in our warehouse, where we do the whole fulfillment logistics for them. That means like mainly B2C, like direct to consumer mm -hmm. uh, logistics. So any order which comes in over the online shop, our fantastic team at Click and Pack, they uh, pack uh, the packages according to the wishes of our customers. So we pick and pack all the products and they put it in a beautiful package and then send it out to our cust uh, to, to their customers, not our customers, to, but to their customers. And uh, by using that or by doing that, we also use like certain kind of software systems. And these software systems are mainly Popo and SendCloud. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a background, um, as far as I understood, somewhere else. So you yeah. basically had your own brand. Maybe yeah, true. Can... Yeah, that's actually how we started Click and Pack Fulfillment. Um, before I started, I had a really big beverage brand. And uh, we were sending out lots of online orders, actually over other fulfillment companies. And uh, the problem which we experienced with many other fulfillment companies was like mainly the availability of them. So we had like uh, very bad service levels sometimes with these uh, fulfillers. And also uh, uh, we had lots of problems, actually people lying to us, telling us that they sent out products but didn't send out the products in time. So our customers were complaining. So uh, it really made lots of problems with working with with different kind of fulfillers so we we thought that we can do this much better and um, then we focused our main idea really to deliver a high-end uh, customer service experience and uh, that's how we actually founded click and pack with that intention to deliver a really uh, good customer experience great and um, I suppose um, this business was started uh, before uh, using Pulpo and SendCloud. So could you explain us a little bit of like how, how did you work before? Um, yeah. Well, actually, when we started uh, the first few weeks, we had to work without a, a VMS, like without a warehouse management system. Um, but that was really because we were still like in the process of looking into which system would be the right system for us. I mean, we knew we need to have a warehouse mm. management system because uh, maybe in the beginning you have one or two customers so it is easy to to maybe do it without the system but the more complex it gets and the more products you have and the more tracking you have to uh, deliver tracking information you have to deliver to your to your customers as well uh, we, we we knew we had to go into find the right system for us at some point and uh, we went through a process uh, so we looked at all kinds of systems until we actually came up with like Popo and the solution with SendCloud, which is some kind of a joint solution. And uh, yeah, since we have the solution, I mean, we started like with this, like, let me think like about nearly about two years ago. And since then, uh, everything runs really well. Still happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good to hear that. Um, you said you, you went out looking for a WMS system that suits you. Yeah. What did you do? Like, what were you looking for? How did you approach all that? Did you talk to a lot of different tools? Did you made a pre-selection before? How did this look like? Well, it was a mix, actually. So, we, of course, we looked up, of course, the usual Google search. So, we looked like at all the available systems which are there. We made a list of like pro and cons 
with each system. Then, of course, we also consulted some friends who had like a little bit more expertise maybe in, in this area. I have a friend who has a really big uh, fulfillment company as well, so he had some past experience. And uh, uh, there were mainly like a few points which, which were like important for us for, for choosing the right uh, warehouse management system, which was, of course, first price. You know, mm. it is uh, an important thing. I mean, how much does the system actually cost us at the end of the month? How much does it cost us per customer if we put on new customers uh, or onboard new customers and so on? So that was a really important criteria. The next important criteria was the, um, the integration part. So how well can we integrate our warehouse management system, Polpo in that case, with other systems which are already available in the market. So we already have to connect our warehouse management system with the shop system of our customer. So it depends really, it can vary very much what the customer uses. So sometimes you have uh, people who use Shopify and WooCommerce and so on, and you need to have a functional integration for that in order to uh, be able to, to get all the data and information to, to able to fulfill the orders. This is, I think, a super relevant point because this makes our partnership uh, between SendCloud and Popo something special. Uh, I think it was also first the, we need to integrate because you guys do the fulfillment warehouse parts. We do somehow the shipping part. So how does the parcel come to the customer? And it created a big overlap. I think quite often we underestimate the power of those ecosystems around the um, e-commerce that you come and you say, I need those, those, those integrations. And we say, hey, we can make it happen because we have that integration in yeah. place. I think it's a super important part when we talk about processes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's, um, it's really like you're running a warehouse. You run it even better with Pulpo in this case because you, you manage and optimize the entire process um, every day, basically. Yeah. And, uh, and this cuts costs, this makes you more efficient, makes you more scalable um, to onboard new customers, to grow in the future and stuff like that. So it's, it's already a big step. And then you have this entire shipment universe, um, which is handled uh, very well by SendCloud. And through this seamless integration of SendCloud and Pulpo, which is just in the background, and, and your people in the warehouse, they, they can just simply use the, the Pulpo app mm -hmm. to, to scan and fulfill the, the order in their daily life, right? And, and everything w which comes to shipping labels, special rules and stuff like that is all done by SendCloud in, yeah. the, back, in the back end. And it's, it's just seamless in, seamlessly integrated. And, and this makes it so much, like this is the next <laughs> uh, jump in efficiency for you, yeah. that um, you don't need to control those processes. You don't need to control this interface between the warehouse and the shipments. And um, you can just rely on, hey, this is working. It's, it's perfectly integrated and it runs smoothly. Yeah, true. Maybe you can take us to your warehouse and then we just think about, okay, how does the process look like? Maybe you can just explain yeah. in a nutshell how you guys work. Yeah, maybe, maybe I can just go like maybe into, into this point a little bit further yeah. because there's like also a certain po a third point which is really important for us in choosing the right uh, mm. warehouse management system was like also uh, uh, trust in the people who do it mm. and also the, the availability because um, for us it is really important to have a partner which is really available to us especially its customer service you know how it is in a, in a, a, a fulfillment warehouse. We have sometimes really big customers with, yeah. with high volumes, with high volume orders, and these orders need to be fulfilled mainly in the same day. So if you have a technical problem somehow, and uh, technical problems can always happen, unfortunately, we need to have a fast response unit somehow, you know? And uh, we just had the feeling from the beginning that Popo was very, um, let's say, customer friendly. And uh, uh, they were also very interested in our opinion and also interested in uh, our needs as well. So it was kind of an open dialogue from the beginning also in what actually, what kind of uh, features do we actually need as a, as a fulfillment warehouse. And also when we have even sometimes wishes or so on, we can always communicate them to, to Popo and they, are t they, they take that very serious. 
So um, that was really also, I think, probably one of the main points for us to, to decide for Polpo that we had like, first of all, we had like some kind of uh, uh, close or let's say short ways, even like to the managing director of Polpo. So I spoke, I don't know, at least like probably now 10 or 15 times now to your CEO yeah. even. So uh, uh, I think that really helped us. I mean, if you go, let's say, as a, as, as a startup fulfillment company out in the market, there are really big solutions out there, but then you're just maybe just a ticket or number. But here we already felt like that we are like somehow in the same boat, mm -hmm. uh, growing together and, and, and trying to find the best solutions for our customers and uh, uh, the best features, really. So service uh, is also super important, especially because we're all humans in the end. I think the e-commerce industry is also a very nice industry to work in. Uh, people are friendly, the culture is good. So those kind of aspects also take or play a role when you take a decision. Yeah, but uh, as I said, I mean, f for example, once we had like a problem with one customer and I remember there were like 15 people on a video conference trying to solve this problem within a few hours. So. Uh, that is not something normal, which you experience with every other company. Uh, also, when we have issues with SendCloud or so on, it's very easy to get hold of you guys and uh, to, to get uh, any kind of integration problems solved quickly. And uh, yeah, that is really important for running our business. And how do you run your business? Maybe diving into your warehouse, like how does it look like? Because for us, we, we always sit behind our laptops uh, and we have a great product, but you actually use our products uh, in everyday life. Yeah. How does it look like? Well, it's, it's, <laughs> I can just put it in a nutshell because I think if we go like into every process, it, it would get probably too detailed and probably also a bit boring. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's say like this, I mean, um, first of all, we acquire our customers somehow. You know, and we find a common uh, uh, um, solution for them. So we we see like how they want us to pack their packages, uh, go to 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 go really after their individual needs. That's really important for us to listen to our customers, to listen what they really want and how they want their packages to be done, and uh, what kind of service level they expect, and so on, and to make that really clear from the beginning. And uh, then it starts usually with a delivery of the goods from our customers, depending on, let's say, we have lots of food customers, supplement customers, cosmetic customers, uh, all kinds of areas, really. And uh, when they deliver our goods, we usually take the Waren Eingang, which means like uh, uh, the inventory comes into our warehouse. We usually do that by scanning the inventory and uh, making like uh, a first inventory uh, uh, um, uh, uh, update. Yeah, update. Yeah. So the customer knows exactly what he has delivered. So mm. we have each item already then uh, 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 um, booked in our system. And uh, from there, really, uh, we already had the integration done before that, before the customer delivers the, the goods uh, by doing usually an API uh, integration or uh, some other integration, really. I mean, Pulpo helps us with that and also you guys help us with that. So uh, that get, goes re usually like within, within like one to three days, integration like that. Uh, it depends really because it depends on the testing. I mean, the integration itself goes fast, probably like within a day, but you still need to do some testing and you want to make sure that everything works before you go live. So uh, we do that before we uh, get the goods and then we uh, get somehow the orders to our warehouse management system through the API uh, interface. And uh, from there, we scan, of course, the products, which are already then in the shelves. You can see there in the shelves, there's like little uh, uh, barcodes next to every shelf. So every product has its shelf. Uh, and also you can find the same outline of our warehouse one-to-one -one in virtual reality in the Pulpo system. So um, the system can tell our um, people who pack the packages actually in our warehouse where to go. So it tells you go to place 1.1, pick item this, then go to place 2.2 and pack item this, and then go to the next and so on, you know, you understand. And uh, when everything is scanned and packed right, only when, when everything is scanned right, then you get the label printed out at the end. So you don't 
you can't really make any mistakes by by packing the wrong goods yeah and that's actually how the main process really works in our warehouse so everything is automated basically every step that you would repeat on the on a yeah. regular basis it's somehow automated yeah yeah and we work like with hand scanners so our warehouse uh, workers they get everything told on the system. They also work with these hand scanners. Uh, so if they scan something, they can see immediately what's happening. So uh, it's all very responsive, very fast. And actually, uh, I always say, like we say in German, Idioten <laughs> sicher. <laughs> safe for idiots. Yeah, safe for idiots. <laughs> Which is not bad in the warehouse sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see some actual results um, after implementing SunCloud and Popo in your warehouse? Do you see what has changed or do you see something that you can pinpoint and say like this is actually the value that it brings to me? Yeah, well, well in, I can only say like because in the beginning we didn't have a warehouse management system. So I can't really say that uh, of course we knew we couldn't work with, with a warehouse management system for a long time because we needed for complexity somehow, you know, and to, to uh, also to do tracking for our customers. You know, some customers have IFS or they're uh, uh, organic certified and you, you need to identify batch numbers, you need to identify uh, shelf lives. So all these data has to be somehow in, in the system. And also the system needs to have these features. So that was really important for us that you find these features in the system. So um, can, can you give an, a very like, visual example? Like, w what happens if you don't have, let's say, expiration date and, and lot um, Chaos, probably. <laughs> Chaos could happen. <laughs> so uh, let's say, for example, we have a ship's company and uh, we have to pay we have to build up displays for them and send them into the retail supermarkets um, for that of course we have to use different kind of shelf lives and if you use the wrong shelf life then it could happen that the supermarket may not take the goods when they arrive because he ordered another shelf life and that could be quite expensive at the end if you have like i don't know 10 lorries going there and they all have to be sent back because you used the wrong shelf life so stuff like that of course is just more secure and more safe so uh, we don't get into problems like that um yeah that really helps you in, in doing this and also of course uh, some companies need that mandatory as i said as they have ifs standards ifs is like a certain kind of certification which needs you to be able to track everything from your products which you sell online or which you sell in a supermarket or whatever to the producer even of let's say ingredients which are used in that product you need to track every detail so we need a system who's able to do that and Popo can do that so and that's even for a good price as well so i have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to raise prices yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. um cool and um looking at the the shipment side yeah. so so we learned um like the the warehouse process is much more smooth much more secure um um idiot safe no and um and it gives you transparency throughout the the entire warehouse right and yeah. so you have real-time stock transparency and everything you you really can tell anything about your warehouse uh, by looking into Popo and, and looking into the KPIs, right? Yeah. And but looking at the at the shipment uh, part, and um, so uh, what what benefits does um, does the integration with SendCloud also bring to you, like in in daily life? I mean, for us, SendCloud is mainly used uh, to to print the labels actually, or to to uh, print the labels for our customers. And what's easy is like we can have for every customer. Uh, our own account actually so each customer has his own SendCloud account he can also log into the SendCloud account he has lots of information in this account as well so he can see uh, all his orders being fulfilled in our warehouse he can see the tracking numbers so he can actually use it as a customer service tool as well uh, which is actually quite cool for many startup companies which we have because they don't have any kind of tools like that so it's easy for them also to uh, uh, to, to start getting working 
and, and, and to have a really good customer service too by using this tool. But uh, when it comes to shipping, what's really cool is the integration at SendCloud. So we can integrate, first of all, let's say the, the, the accounts of our shipping companies, which our customers use already. So for example, we have a customer who already has a DHL account or he already has a DPD account, his own account. So we can integrate that account very easy into SendCloud by just putting in the contract number and I don't know how you do it. It looks like magic <laughs> to me, but it always works. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 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 and then also what's really cool is then SendCloud also has really good uh, prices when it comes sometimes many companies, for example, they don't have high amounts of sending international packages, but sometimes they have some. And then we can also maybe use the price structure of SendCloud from time to time because they have very good offers there. So yeah, that works really well for us, shipping. So basically everything is being set up and then it runs in the background. So you don't actively in the warehouse use SendCloud, but we just provide the right labels into a Pulpo WMS and from there you take the labels and work with them, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So what what are your plans um like looking into the future um as as a company um well f first of all like what's really important for me is like also when it comes to fulfillment in general is like I have the feeling that our customers or main or, or, or nearly all the customers even when you talk to them in the beginning it's all about trust. You know, and it's all about trust and transparency. So what we, really, what we really want to achieve is to be as transparent as possible to our customers. So what's really important about the transparency is that uh, people or our customers can have a look in every process, what's happening in our warehouse. So we can see if the package has been worked on this day or next day, even at what time, who packed it maybe, who uh, 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 did he pick the right eye? So he can like track every process which has been done in our warehouse. So he has full transparency by just going onto a dashboard and, and, and look into it. So that's the aim to where we want to be at the end. So our customers have full transparency, see what's going on, and uh, and also have an automatic uh, uh, billing from there, which is also really important for us because billing takes a lot of time in, uh, in fulfillment sometimes to, uh, to sort out like uh, everything, it's, but Pulpo is helping us with that also. So I think, I, I'm not sure if it's in this version or like in the next version. We, we will have yeah. a dashboard. It, yes. It's already possible through our um, analytics suite. Um, but we will have a built-in dashboard for um, like providing all the data which is required for billing the customers. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so this is really important for us to, to get to that stage. And then from there, really, it's like uh, we try to make a good job and get recommendations. And this is actually how it works. Um, we got lots of recommendations so far because our customers are happy. Because I think the most important thing for the customer is not to get uh, to get the job done first. I mean, that's the most important thing. He doesn't really care really what we use or how we do it. He just cares about that we do it in, in the right time and that we do it right, and um, and that the price is right. And um, we can offer all this, of course, by using um, the software systems which we use because then we are very reliable in what we do, which is really important in fulfillment, to be reliable and trustworthy and, and to not make many mistakes or not to even have the possibility to make mistakes because the system doesn't allow it, you know? And uh, yeah, that's why we feel we are in good hands with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what would be interesting maybe if I'm on a new customer. I could be a merchant, I could be a fulfiller, I'm interested in Popo. What do I need to do and how does the onboarding process look like and maybe also how fast can I be onboard? Because sometimes the speed to market is what yeah, can make you different from the competition. Absolutely. So, so what we do at Popo is we, we focus on keeping the hurdles to introducing uh, the warehouse management system very low. So. Um, we, we keep it simple, we keep it fast, we keep it intuitive. And, and this is basically, um, these are the, the overarching goals which we are following. Um, we're providing a 
full-blown WMS system with all the, you mentioned it, expiration date and lot tracking, serial number tracking, everything which is very advanced, um, but at the same time keeping implementation cycles, uh, support hours very low. Um, how do we do that? Um, well, first of all, um, of course, you, you decide um, to for, for a warehouse management system. If you're clever, you decide for Pulpo WMS and, um, and uh, we, we sign a contract, um, which is, by the way, a, a monthly true SaaS contract. So, so no strings attached. Um, you always have the, the possibility to, to get out again if you don't like it. But of course, <laughs> we make you like it because um, the implementation process starts as follows. You, um, we, we build the warehouse in our system using our so-called warehouse wizard. It's a digital twin of the warehouse which is being created throughout the onboarding process. Then based on this um, map of the warehouse basically, all the barcodes are generated and printed and can already be put on the, on the shelves, on the racks in the warehouse. And um, then you just need to do an inventory count and, and, and uh, basically store your goods in the, in, the, in the racks, in the positions, and you're good to go. Um, this process takes on average two to four weeks, depending on the customer. We have onboarded customers in one to two days, and we have done that several times, and in a complete remote setup, which is, I think, very outstanding. And, um, and then, of course, when the, when the warehouse is set up, all the barcodes are there, all the goods are in, the, in their places, um, then you need to train your staff. And um, for that, we have the so-called Pulpo University, which is an online training tool um, that every new employee or everyone in the company basically uh, goes through, solves some test questions, and after half a day is ready to, to run and, and to be productive in the warehouse. So um, it's a very streamlined process. Um, we have an onboarding specialists team which is guiding that process and taking care that everything runs fine and smooth and is tested in the end. And then together with the customer, we, um, we decide that um, we can go live and um, we, we flip the switch and the system is there. So it's not needed that we go to the warehouse together, that we take a big chart and we draw stuff. Um, it's everything is possible remote and via the software. Exactly, exactly. And, and um, like I know that the fear is out there that uh, like introducing a WMS is, is very time consuming. It's very expensive. It's, um, you need to deal with lots of developers and, and uh, specialists who are costly and um, who don't speak your language and uh, stuff like that. Yeah? So we remove this friction. Um, it's, it's not a big project. It's, it's really just a, a quick and, and lightweight process to go through. Um, it's, it's well guided by our support team um, who are all specialists in what they do and they, they are very much interested in bringing customers live quickly. Um, there, there is no big consulting or um, implementation project involved. Yeah? No six digit investment to get the system implemented, um, stuff like that. So it's, it's really a few days up to a few weeks process. Um, you don't need to dedicate an entire team to that. It's, it's really, it can be solved by the warehouse management and maybe some, some other people involved. And um, yeah, that's it. And when do you integrate Sanctuary? Because we have um, a lot of joint customers as well that use that combination, same as uh, our customer Click and Pack. When do you tell a customer, for instance, hey, Sanctuary could be a good option and why? Well, we, we talk about it even before starting with Pulpo. Uh, because um, for us, it's just a perfect setup at the customers and, and for the customers if they can directly start with Sandcloud and Pulpo have the integration and save time and effort um, also in the shipping label creation and shipping process. So um, we like to recommend the solution to our customers even before starting with them. And then in the implementation process, it's just one process step to, to get the SendCloud implementation live, yeah? which is um, just logging into SendCloud, installing the Pulpo plugin, um, entering some credentials and it's basically there. Yeah, so so it, it's 
It's really easy, it's really seamless, and it supports this idea of reducing the friction and reducing the efforts in, in the warehouse, in the fulfillment process for everyone involved. We already talked about using a WMS and why it's crucial for you. Um, why a solution like SunCloud? Why do you need a second tool next to your WMS tool when it comes to creating the labels, tracking? What are the things that convince you to use SunCloud as well? Well, as I said before, it's like, uh, it's like the carriers, which we can integrate very easy. So we can integrate any kind of um, account, carrier account, DHL, DPD in Germany. So everybody knows DHL, DPD in <laughs> Germany. Um, we can just integrate them really, really easy. So if it's the own account or our, our, our account, which we use. So that is very straightforward with the help of your customer service. We do that usually in about five minutes or so to integrate the uh, and to set up the account as well. It doesn't take much time. We do that also as well with one of your customer service managers. It usually takes ha half an hour to set up the whole account. Then we put in the carriers and uh, with the carriers come the carrier prices, of course. Everybody has his individual prices nowadays or they use the SendCloud prices as well. So that could happen too. And if they don't have their individual account. And uh, also we use it, of course, for label generation. And also many customers of us then use it as a customer service tool too, to, because all the information of all the, uh, um, let's say, um, fulfilled uh, packages can be found in the SendCloud history. So it's very easy even to look for Let's say I'm, I'm a customer service uh, employee and I work for a certain brand and I want to look uh, for a package. I, I can just even put in the order number, which is the same order number which is in the shop because the order number of the uh, order itself gets, uh, 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 gets automatically uh, transferred to SendCloud. So I can just easily look for it and then find the order and look for the tracking and have find all the information, even like detailed tracking information, more detailed information, which I find on the carrier side when I go for tracking. So yeah, so these are all advantages um, that we use in, in, in order to, to give the best, best experience to our customers. Are there things that you see, um, any kind of trends that are happening on the market when it comes to your perspective as a fulfiller? Are things changing? Do merchants behave differently than they did maybe a few years ago? Well, there's some trends, but uh, well, I can't really say from, from a software perspective, of course, I mean, features are important, of course. I mean, uh, and these features can can, who knows where they're going to get to. I mean, there's also always new preferences or like prerequisites like companies asking for. So we need somebody who's very flexible and, 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 and also can act fast according to what's going on in the market. Um, but uh, otherwise, automation, I think, is a very important thing which comes more and more. So um, we had, for example, some customer requests in the past where many companies are looking more and more for automatic solutions, completely automatic solutions. We are not there yet, but there's a few warehouses in Germany who can, who can already offer like complete, fully automatic warehouses. So the commissioning is done by machines. Uh, uh, even like there's a whole machine who, who can pack like 1,000 packages uh, in an hour, you know, and you just have to put the merchandise on a conveyor belt and then it finds the right size for the package so no waste is done and everything is done automatically. So yeah, so this is the future for sure. And uh, AI and so on, it's all topics who are, who are really now coming into uh, uh, or coming more and more also to logistics and into the warehouse so um, to keep up with these trends and also to um, to understand actually what's going on in the market. It's also really nice to to also be partners with SendCloud because SendCloud also does lots of webinars or does lots of consulting and information for their customers. So uh, it's always good to, to be up to date what's going on in the market and uh, to react to all these trends. True, things are changing fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is a golden tip that you would give every merchant or fulfiller that's maybe wants to start fulfilling, maybe it's not there yet, um, maybe wants to uh, look for a different tool. 
what is a golden tip that you would give somebody like your best friend around you? Uh, I would say like don't be afraid and just uh, just go for for it. You know, I mean, it is. Some people think like maybe in the beginning it's not so 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 necessary to have a system like that, but it makes life so much easier, and uh, also it makes you control your products so much better and to have like uh, I think uh, a good knowledge about what you have on stock and what not and what's going on with your products in your warehouse I mean many people lose track of that you can't imagine how many customers we have who uh, forget sometimes that they have pellets where the shelf life is, is going off so they have to just write off all these pellets sometimes you know because uh, they didn't have maybe in the in the past a good warehouse management system so uh, uh, these are all points which, which can be essential for the success of a company or for the failure of a company. So yeah, I think <laughs> you, should, you, you should not be afraid and, and look into it. Yeah. Know? What would you advise? It could also be something personal. Yeah, so um, I would also support um, just do it. Um, don't, don't be afraid, don't overthink it. Um, Try it out. Um, yeah. If it's a if it's a fair software as a service product, um, you can try it out. You can you can test it. You can um, if you don't like it, you can cancel it. You can always change. Can change. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but um, try it out and and make your own um, make up your own mind um, what helps and what doesn't. And in, in our opinion. Um, and also in our own history, basically, because Pulpo was, was born out of the own need of uh, yeah, requiring a good um, e-commerce um, WMS system yeah, with real-time functionality, real-time stock transparency, um, all these fast and good integration with systems. And um, back in the days, our founders couldn't find such a system on the market. So they decided to, to build their own system, and, uh, but not only for the business they were building it for uh, back in the days, but with this great vision of, of, an, um, yeah, of, of the most scalable WMS in the market, which basically fulfills the needs of 95% of all e-commerce merchants or fulfillers. And um, it, it, was, it was built with exactly this uh, intention in mind, yeah? To, to be agile, to, to release fast, to be quick in developments, to, to being able to listen to customers and to, to um, value their opinion and their needs to come up with new features, which then again create value in the market. And feel free to try out uh, what we created. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you, you can always, um, I think it's, it's always worth to, to invest some time and effort into finding the right product or solution and just doing it. Yeah, and implementation is really easy. I mean, I must really say, of course, you always think like, oh my God, we have to integrate a new software system and so on, but actually it was not really a big problem for us because the main work was done by the Pulpo guys. They told us actually how to do everything, so uh, we were very well guided. So that was also a good point, working together with them and from there, you know, you can see the benefits then from yourself. I mean, everybody has its own, let's say, uh, 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 needs of what he needs and for the needs of a fulfillment warehouse. And I think probably for uh, any kind of merchant who has like goods uh, uh, to, uh, to store somehow and to uh, fulfill or to do logistics with, uh, uh, the system works very well. So. I can only recommend it because not only of this easy implementation process, then again also we don't have to forget this, I mean we are all businessmen, so also price was really, really important. And if you look at what other systems costs and what you have to pay monthly or what do you have to pay uh, for the integration or for the implementation and so on, Popo was by far, by far the best. And um, the risk is actually very minimal if you start to work with Pulpo and you want to try it out. You don't go, as you don't go really into a risky contract. You don't have like a 24 months uh, or 12 months uh, 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 long year contract. But you, I think it's like limited for three months in the beginning. I'm not sure. Or it's actually monthly. Uh, subscription, monthly, yeah. monthly subscription. No. So you can, you know, so you can quit the contract on a monthly basis. So 
I don't see really no reason why not to try it, you know. So um, that's why we actually did it. That's why we tried it. And uh, yeah, we did the right choice. <laughs> it's a funny thing that all of the companies um, that are represented here somehow built of a need or out of a need. Uh, same for SunCloud as well. Our three founders had an own web shop and the whole shipping thing was not, it's not the most sexy topic to talk about. It's not really a topic that is super attractive to, hey, this is the first thing that I want to do when I'm uh, a startup and yeah. when I'm starting uh, to sell goods. But in the end, it's super necessary. So they also built a solution for a problem that has been there, but there has not been a product fulfilling that need. Yeah. So same as <laughs> Popo and same as also your yeah. story. Um, Do you also have a tip for, for the future? Yeah. Yes, I would say um, merchants should, or merchants, everybody in the e commerce industry should think about what am I doing on a regular basis that I can automate because my time is valuable as well. Sometimes merchants tend to forget that every manual thing they do on a Saturday night, on a Sunday, just in between. I mean, it's the startup vibe in the beginning, that's fine. But when you want to scale, you should also give your own time a price and think about solutions that can make your life easier in the end. If it's a shipping solution, maybe a WMS system, maybe an ERP system, whatever. But my advice would be uh, pin a price to your own time as well and think mm -hmm. about how can you make your, uh, your own life uh, easier. Yeah, people will be surprised really how much actually it costs at the end. When people think like probably, oh, I have to pay now so much on top of my products to have all the service done. But it's actually reasonable prices nowadays. And, uh, uh, and you can invest your time in the, in the more worthy stuff like sales and marketing, which is for Merkins, I think probably most important thing where yeah. they should invest their time into and, and not into packing any packages or to worry so much about uh, uh, IT or IT problems. And also you don't want to have all these people working in your company because they cost money. And it is nice to have everything outsourced somehow, but still very available. Yeah. And also, I feel like Polpo is our own team. Like, I know everybody from Polpo. Like, I know your customers now for one and a half year. I know nearly every programmer there. I know nearly uh, from, from the managing board to, to the sales guy to uh, uh, relations guy. I know everybody there. So, and uh, that's how it should be, you know. Thank you so much, guys, for joining, for being here in Eindhoven, <laughs> and for taking the time, talking a little bit about yeah, your experiences and also your knowledge. Thanks for that. Yeah, thank you for um, having us. If you guys are interested in a solution in a WMS system or if you have questions about carrier integration and want to make your own life easier, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for being here. Thank you. <laughs> thank Victoria. you.